my land and my water. This is how Armenians often speak about their home and their country, how they refer to their ancestors and to their historic past. Armenian farmers refer to my land and my water when talking about their rural life, their challenges and expectations. A knowledgeable and prosperous farmer, confident in his future, working within a profitable agricultural system. What is needed to achieve these goals in a country where agriculture has always been a vulnerable sector? Rehabilitated canals and pipelines, a reliable irrigation system and effective water management entities, informed farmer and modern technologies, accessible loans as well as accessible internal and external markets. Five years ago, these ambitious goals were defined by the Millennium Challenge Account Armenia program, funded by the U.S. government's Millennium Challenge Corporation at a cost of $177 million. Today, when the program has rehabilitated over 720 kilometers of canals, upgraded 17 pumping stations, empowered 47 water management entities, reliable irrigation water is accessible on around 47,000 hectares of land to 427,000 rural residents. Within a few years, the irrigated area will increase by another 9,000 hectares and the farming of higher value fruit and vegetables will expand to 6,600 hectares. We try to look at this huge program through the eyes of its beneficiaries, assessing its results and achievements through their opinions. The canal is so good for us. Everything had gone dry around here. Thank God, now the trees are recovering. The nature around us is reviving. So everyone is very much pleased with the irrigation water we have now. Yes. I'm 70 years old and I feel somehow that life is only starting now. Back then, 50-60% of lands were not farmed here. Starting with April, May, land use increased. I and others have around 400 hectares of land around here. People have now started farming on almost 100 hectares. I knew that the drip system existed but did not have an idea what it was about. When I changed the irrigation system, the yield also went up. In the past, we harvested only 3 tons per 500 square meters. Now we receive 6-7 tons of vegetables. 
we were able to return our costs and had a profit of one and a half million drums. Instead of repaying the loan in five years, we will do it in two years and the greenhouses will remain as the gift from MCA Armenia. Many more greenhouses were built in our village in the last three years just by following my example. My fellow farmers could see how much I increased production in the greenhouse, what my profit was. And they also decided to set up plastic greenhouses. 220 farmers have replicated new irrigation techniques that they observed when visiting these program demonstration sites. Over 16,000 farmers have applied some of the methods they learned during the training. In June, July 2011, thanks to the collaboration between program collection centers, farmer groups and exporting companies such as Solid Arm and Spica, around 2,000 tons of apricots were exported to Russia. This is the achievement that completes the program's cycle. High quality produce exported from Armenia due to the effective irrigation and advanced farming. We could end this story about our program here if all of the issues of agriculture and farming had been solved in Armenia. But as long as there is so much more to be done, the program continues. It goes on because the program has helped start so many changes and improvements but its future and sustainability depends on our state and on all of us. Overall, I can say that this program is considered one of the best that was implemented in Armenia in the recent years. On behalf of the government, I would like to express our deepest appreciation to the United States of America for making this program possible.